What do you mean by a strain gorge? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask you guys the obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term strain gorge? Well, let's find out. So strain gorge, as the name suggests, it is a device that is used for the purpose of measuring the strain that is subjected on a particular object. So let us take a particular object like this. And now when a particular force is applied on top of this particular object, it is getting strained. That is, it deforms this particular object. That is, when it gets pushed over here, there is some kind of a deformation happening to this particular object. So strain is simply but the measure of how much this particular object gets deformed. That is, when we are pressing it with a particular force, how much this particular pen gets compressed or the change in the dimensions of this particular pen. That is what you refer to as strain. So how do we measure this strain? It is for the purpose of measuring this strain, we have introduced a device which is referred to as a strain gauge. So the construction of a strain gauge is very, very, very simple. So all we do is, we first take a particular conductor like this. And this particular conductor is wound into a particular shape like this. So here, for this particular area, like this, the resistance of this particular portion is given as R is equal to rho into L by A, where length is this particular length and A is this particular area of cross-section and rho is the resistivity of this particular conductor. So here, these two are the particular leads. Now, it is across these two leads that we obtain the resistance of this particular conductor. So now, let us imagine that we need to measure the strain that is present on this particular object. So for that, what we do is that we now take this object and we place it over here like this. So now the object is here and now we start applying the deforming force over here. So now what we observe is that when we apply the deforming force over here, this object gets deformed and also this particular coil gets deformed like this. That is, there will be a change in the length and the area of cross-section of this particular portion. And therefore, as a result of this, since the length and the area of cross-section changes over here, the resistance also changes. That is because the resistance varies as a function of the length and area as the formula of the resistance is given as R is equal to rho into L by A. As simple as that. So therefore, when this particular object is deformed, here this particular coil also gets deformed. So therefore, there will be a change in the resistance. So this is how we can simply measure the strain that is present on a particular object with the help of a strain gauge. As simple as that. So here, we need to know about one important parameter which is referred to as the gauge factor. The gauge factor is given as G is equal to delta R by R divided by delta L by L. This is the gauge factor of a particular strain gauge. So what gauge factor tells us is that how much resistance changes when there is a unit change in the length of this particular coil. That is, if the length of this particular coil changes by one unit, then how much resistance is changed over here. That is what we get with the help of this gauge factor. So now, since we have the gauge factor, we can obtain delta R by R is equal to the gauge factor into delta L by L. So therefore, this thus is the basic principle of what you refer to as a strain gauge. As simple as that. Just when we apply a deforming force on a particular object, the object gets deformed. And therefore, as a result of this, as the object gets deformed, this particular coil also starts getting deformed. That is, it gets compressed. And because the compression happens, the length and the area of cross-section changes. And therefore, the resistance changes. This change in resistance can be used for the purpose of finding the strain that is present on this particular object as simple as that.
So in order to understand strain, let us take this particular object. And now I'm applying a force here. While I'm applying a force here, this is deformed. Okay, now it is being, now it is in a strained condition. It is undergoing some kind of a strain. But now when I remove this force, it comes back to what it was. Now the strain is, it is not strained. It is actually, it has come back to whatever shape it was. So this is strain. So this strain is what we can measure with the help of this strain gauge. So this does is simply what you refer to as a strain gauge. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a strain gauge. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.